September 17. What's going on today? I can change first. I have other things to do later on today, though. So someone can pick up where I live off. Okay. But, um... Can we get set up time like hours? 12, 1, 2. After this, to 3 or 4, 4 o'clock. I can get after that. Uh, and 4 to I 7? I mean, can you do... So two people? Yeah, that's what I just said. Mm -hmm. uh, what what trench is priority right now? Should we uh, clean up the existing trench or finish? Maybe do this one. I think it's kind of wet still there, isn't it? Yeah, it's really easy to trench this trench. Yeah, It'll this one's a piece of cake. The tube should be coming today. Awesome. The, also, so we can start digging for that tube a little bit. Just The reason that the, it's trench. so muddy over there is because we have the leaky hose fitting above that, and all that water is coming Okay, down. I got a question on it. Why don't we replace the, hose right, the hoses right now? Because that's a thing that's independent of trenching, isn't it? That's what I thought. And is there can we do that? Concern about that? You and so? No, no concerns. You want to do it? I got other things to do, but I mean... How much of a priority are these new hoses? Well, I mean, it's it's a priority for winter. Until so we do the trench. It's going to have to get done anyway. Yeah. The only issue is that that trench keeps getting wet over there on that side. It's, it makes it hard to dig there. There's also a chance of rain today. Is there a tube cut to size already? It's not cut to size. It's in a roll. Let's see. So there's all sorts of... Complications. Oh. Well, it'd be nice to have uh, two people on it. If yeah. it's going to be with those kind of complications. Well, we devote a full day to it. It's probably going to take all day. No, it shouldn't take all day. No, that's what we faced before. But that was when the fittings weren't working. Now we got the fittings ironed out and everything is in place. All you got to do is replace the hoses. Oh, well, that's what we thought too with the fittings, right? Well, last time, because they weren't right. Well, what happens is how much time it actually takes. So. I mean, last time we didn't know what we were doing. Right now, we think we know what we're doing. Well, last time we also thought we knew what we were doing, too. I didn't. Uh, at least two people. Okay. And we'll just start it off at the beginning of the day and see when we finish it. And then go into other stuff. That's just the way to go, go about it. Let's do it. So is what that going to be today or a different day? Yeah. Let's start in the beginning. Let's start in the morning when it's cool. So tomorrow? Okay. What time? So you and so and Graham. So let's start. What time is it for you? Is that for breakfast? Yeah. So breakfast around after breakfast. 10.30. 10 10.30. Okay. Okay. Um, so the generator needs fixing still. It's um, going to be in Kansas City until Wednesday, and then I'll go pick it up. Kansas City? Yeah, that's the still one that was closer, but it's the same, like, it's, it's basically the same business as St. Joe, just different people. Um, but on the same trip, I can do sourcing at Menards for the sub pump and the pillows adapter. Hmm. Controller dry run. CB press. Controller dry run. What was the holdup on that? So apparently the solenoid valve is blocked up someplace, either within that block or within the solenoid valve. And I tried doing all sorts of troubleshooting and it still doesn't work. So right now I'm working with some the dragon plug. Use the, the, the extra solenoid valve set that's there and just install that on it because we know that that one. Does, does that include the manifold or just the little solenoid valves? Can you just take off the valves and switch the valves over? It seems like it would be easiest to get the whole thing replaced because we don't know where the problem is. Okay. Yeah. It's, yeah, it just takes a little longer. It's in good shape because we've got all the extra fittings, so you don't have to strip the fittings. We have the extra fittings in a box that arrived, in principle at least. Okay. The big box. 
Um, is that box still by the head lab? Okay, the box that arrived like Friday or something. Okay, so the, all those fittings should be. So it doesn't really re require replacing fittings. You can just. Uh, That's Put the right. fittings onto that one. After that's installed, we can just test it. Just calm me down. You can get the power cube running, and we'll, that, we'll do the test. And the latest on the power cube is that that's okay, right? That, yep. that wasn't a problem. Nope. Was the problem. Cool. So the pump is okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we can use that for your iron worker and cold saw and mm -hmm. anything. Cool. Uh, CD4. Um, I'm, right now I'm working on fab drawings, but I should probably step back and, and look at the basically the status on the workshop. Um, I think just, I mean, fixing a bunch of the, uh, the grinders. Um, if you can't fix them, then get a couple new grinders. Uh, a mag drill. We, have, we, ha we usually have two. Um, it looks like the second one, it's, it's not going to be a quick road to getting the second one fixed. So I'm going to be proposing that we get a second mag drill. Let's get a second one, and while we do it, that one is decent. It's, I mean, it's served us pretty decently well. When we order it, we can inquire about replacement. It seems like the gearbox is worn out. Okay. So. Okay, and that's something I want to do today, just because mm -hmm. of the lead time, so we can still target Friday. Okay. Um, now, I think everything will kind of fall into place. Um, I'm targeting Friday for fab drawings. You know, before that, we'll have everything set for the blog post. Um, I want to get a little more, you know, congruency on what the blog post requires. You know, Yoon so has some opinions about um, about how much detail goes in the blog post. And yeah, there's a lot of insights yeah. that have to be put into the organization of where all the information is located, and there are various factors you have to consider. Major ones for the documentation, such as how easy is it for the user to navigate, but also how easy is it for the user to make a copy and download that information, uh, whether if it's on, say, if it, all the files are individually uploaded to the wiki, and there's different file links, then the person who wants to make a copy of the project file is going to have to do for hundreds of them, just download each of them hundreds. Oh, that's, that's terrible time and efficiency. So there's various trade-offs, and I've kind of converged with the development of the documentation system. On the, you have a project web page, a wiki page, and then you can put the, for direct access, you can put introductory information, such as introductory pictures, diagrams and videos on the wiki page by embedding it itself. But of course, these are introduction, these are on the web page, which means that they're not as easy to download as you would say a downloadable zip package, right? So the, for the people who are wanting to get more serious into replication, below those introductory, introductory content, you put a link to a compressed file package, which, which contains the more advanced information, including fabrication drawings, like the fabrication diagrams, and so on and so forth. We can have this seems we to can, be the right trade-off. We can have the whole the PDF fabrication drawing pack. In addition, it can be fab pack. Mm -hmm. and it can all be zipped together. It can be separate. I mean, there's all well, kinds for, of ways we can do it. But for purposes of replication, it's actually going to be a little more efficient for the replicator to view the fabrication drawings from the from each respective component folder, where each 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 component folder is linked to via. Yeah, is associated with the part of the fabrication diagram. I hear, I hear that we can say that, but I don't. I just don't. I don't think it blends that smoothly in with. The yeah, you and so you, you have an assumption that the fabricator has a basic level of computer literacy. That is not an assumption we want to carry. Yeah, no. The important part is for us to understand the current state of how people are able to replicate and then carry forward with the existing tools that are available, which is information processing through the computer. We don't want to be trading off excessive amounts of replicability for minimizing the requirements. Like, there's various factors for documentation, one of which is how much uh, hardware, how much software, how much procedural understanding is required to use the documentation. And then there's the other part, which is uh, other parts like navigation, how easy it is to navigate, and along the navigation side, for all the files comprised of the project, not just fabrication drawings, it's easier if you have a diagram that has associations with different components.
component folders rather than different PDFs that have this whole slew of pages that you cannot navigate unless you have some kind of table contents, even if that is inferior to the diagram because you have much more information to your piece in the diagram. But of course, I'll actually be testing this out. I've worked with these diagrams before, these different systems before. I've even uploaded hundreds of uh, files onto the wiki and met the unfortunate conclusion of, oh, now if someone wants to download all these files, you have to do it individually. So that's no good. So more testing with the diagram will tell. I plan to do that today. So that's mm -hmm. that. Next. Um, yeah, I'm still going to take some more contour points on the side plan. Uh, are we going to go forward with the road before winter? Like the yeah. going through the forest? Yeah, we want to do that before the rains, the heavy rains. Yeah. Um, I had some things I wanted to discuss about that, not here. Yeah, 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 let's take that afterwards. Um, so after after this year? Oh, we can do it. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. No relevant updates. Construction. Um, we're halfway done stuckling the interior of the third room. It's the most challenging because it had the worst bricks in it. Um, you want to tell us about the plot destroyer idea? Oh uh, yeah, we're we're blocked on time, like hands and the time to finish the west wall, and I was thinking uh, a plaster sprayer, like with a hopper, hopper sprayer would be a good solution to that, but the only thing is like, all the ones in the market take like 40 gallon compressors to use, and we only have like a 10 gallon compressor. Uh, You're talking about a texture sprayer or something different? It's called a Tyrolesa. It's like a big hopper with like four nozzles, then it just like shoots the blaster out with air, compressed air. Uh, we got a design for that? I mean, I, I what started my interest in it was I saw this Greek natural builder and he had made one for like $100 from spare parts, from like old sprayers and... Is it open? Okay, we need a design. If we're going to do that, I, I'd be in totally to doing that. He's or we could open, but he hasn't documented it. Yeah, he hasn't documented it, so I'm trying to get in contact with him, but... We're going to be mean, spending hundreds of hours. Yeah, it's like, that's half the price of what we could be getting if we just bought one, and it it would be, like, many, many more hours. Where do we get one? Amazon they have them? online. What are they called? Tyrolesses. How much is it? It's like 250 two, two Let's get it. But we need a bigger compressor. I mean, the, the, okay. the, the, the big one over there, is that one that working? We've got... <laughs> we can, I can no, get the big one is not. In the greater KC area, we can, get a, we can get a compressor off Craigslist today. If we're not, you know, if we're not, we can get an industrial grade compressor for six or seven hundred dollars. You know, notably less than what, you know, 40% off of the retail price. It'd be lightly used. That's kind of like what I'm seeing on a regular basis, but... Not let's get a good brand. Like, let's if we get one, let's make sure it's it's a decent quality brand. Yeah. In, in Soul Rand. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's a good one, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's so. How well, soon is that? Is that like well, let's get it. Let's get this thing. Yeah, let's, uh, I'm, I'm probably picking up steel in Kansas City. Probably today, maybe tomorrow morning. Uh, so maybe I can try to do it in the same trip. Does that okay. make sense? Yeah. Let's let's get it. Let's. Okay. It's 600. That's I mean, that's what we're gonna end up paying for one of those. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know who wants to source that. I mean, I, there's pretty much only one or two companies that really make. Just send me, send me a, email me. We need okay. to Let's get one, it. 120 volt though, right? We could do 120 or. Because if we need to do it up at the Hab Lab, it needs, it to, be needs to be 120. Needs to be 120. Okay. Up at Hab Lab, it's 120, and we can. Right now, we've got. Um, it's either, or we run an air hose up to Hab Lab. Which is a whole other operation you have here. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, we could do 120. Uh, we've got the 5 kilowatt system that we can plug to that, and that'll be. Um, yeah. Yeah, then mm -hmm. we could even plaster. I mean, it would take way less time. It's just mixing is still a time sink.
terms of mixing in five gallon buckets. But I mean How did mixing in the fifty five gallon work? Or was that just wine? That yeah, that might work, but I feel like we could do like one batch of that. And then it would be like it wouldn't have to be one person mixing all day. Yeah, I don't know how well that would work though, because of the length of the yeah. mixer. I mean, we have more rebar. We, we can all up another mixer. Yeah. Yeah, let's talk about that <coughs> later. Um, I can order it. I can order the two-inch insulation for the around the Hab Lab, but I need to know the dimensions. Unless you want to order it. We need, uh, yeah. When do we want to do that? Like, we can do, let's let's move on it. Let's, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe like I can tell you it's so each side is six. It's about 240 feet of it. So 240 divided by four by eight is 30 sheets of it. 30 sheets is what we need right now. We're getting that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We should get a few spare. Like get 10 spare. So 40 Something, sheets. Yeah. 40 sheets of regular old two-inch insulation. Two-inch pink board, yeah. The pink stuff, not the white stuff, which is So yeah. am I ordering that? Yeah, let's do it. So, right. so with that... For delivery? Yeah, delivery. Mm -hmm. um, we mm -hmm. still need to tamp the floors. Plastic. Plastic. Yep. Um, is anyone on troubleshooting the roof leaks? Here. No, in the Hab Lab there's a leak. Oh, which way? Is it by the ridge or is it elsewhere? Yeah, it's by the ridge, I think. I'm interested. Yeah? How, how is it to climb on that roof? It's a little slippery, but other than that... It's if it's dry, it should be okay. decent. Um, John did the back screen door. We still need to do the motel screen doors. Did John say when he, think, when he thinks he'll be in this week? No, he didn't I say. I mean, it's not a real trouble for us not to have him, so whenever he comes, yeah. you can just work on that. Star cubes. Any more power cubes? Bottom, bottom power cube on the back coach there. Did you already show, trouble through that? What's wrong with it? No, I don't know what's wrong with it. I just want to start. That's yeah, so like, You know? Could be the battery. Is it clicking? I don't remember. Alright. I mean, I'll, I'll trench and figure out if we can... I can trench, trench with one. Just one, yeah. Yeah, I'm just wondering because we need it eventually. Eventually. So I'll just leave it on the back burner. Video. Um. CB, historical retrospective, is apparently in progress. Wednesday is the new deadline. Mm -hmm. um, for ag, I'm going to be propagating gooseberries. I'm going to be l layering blackberries to propagate them because that way we don't have to bring them into the greenhouse and take up space. I have to figure out how to use the rake. Um, the baler looks like it just needs the PTO. And I've been clearing weeds out so you can see all the parts. Um, I have to torch <clears throat> the second hole in the QA plate for the plow. That's not a real time item. Just want to have a chance. What about uh, using the plow? What do you want to? Uh, I'll take the contour out for that. And I'd like to do it after we bale hay. So Gary's going to come oh. as per weather permits this week or next week. Um, he's going to give me a call when he's planning on doing that. Then once we get the hay on the ground, we can rake it. Baling our hay. Mm -hmm. We have hay to cut. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all well, that stuff comes back. The guy, well, we haven't had rain. Dennis hasn't called me. Um, I was going to wait until the next big rain to test rain. Like the next inch or two we have. And then that shallow dam we can make at any time. That's true. Yeah. We can use the bucket. And that's that's where all the velocity of the water is starting. Totally. We don't have to wait for any bit. I'll just put that in. Um, shallow dam. Well, I'll make marking the contour for first. Be priority. Yeah. Do 
Do we know when Aaron's getting back? 21st, he 21st. said. What's the shallow dam? 21st. The shallow Wait. dam is the pond site that we have separate from Dennis and the contracting. It's um, kind of at the crest of the hill. It's like at the highest point. Forward. We can dig a foot and a half or a three foot dam. It won't take that long and it'll make a large area that's going to collect water. It's like at the top of the, this is like the highest point of the property right here. And so if we start a contours, a contour dam that starts a little bit above this line and then go below it, then it'll all trap this, like a half acres worth All of this water will start area. to travel here. And then it'll, it'll just be a very shallow, but like a huge surface area of water. So it'll... This is where all your erosions, or the not the erosion, but the velocity of the rainwater is starting. So all that's going down the hill. So if we catch the water high up, then it will. That's the okay, best. you need to get this reviewed by somebody who knows what they're doing. But what I understand is you can't just put mound soil up. Water leaks through. You have to be able to compress it. Yeah, it'll be driving over, like dumping it, driving over it, dumping it, driving over it. Yeah, we should, we should what's the area? What's the what's the size of this thing? About half acre. Half acre. And when is when do we want to do that? When the tractors are free. When we're done with the trenches. Okay. Exciting. Yeah, it is. Yeah, we, we still have to mark out the stuff after after we mark the contour. Yeah, and just general planning. Mm -hmm. So we could also make that into a road coming from that uh, the, the easement front. and make this actually become a access point for the pond. Yeah. It would be but good to have a road access point for Gary and for, I mean, I don't know what will happen first. It'll probably be Gary Bailey. I mean, yeah, the road's going to be far off. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. Um... Where is uh, Colby? Oh, where do you want the cardboard repository? I think you... Just there? So, okay. the cardboard repository, yeah, for now, um, the corner of the workshop works fine for me. I don't know how well it works for other people. It does build up, but then I'll just take it all out and flatten it and use it as she can. Um, for the long-term story 